お前はもう死んでいる。trying to get into reading manga or have been reading manga and sometimes they get confused on which way they need to which way you know you're supposed to read manga and stuff like that so this video is going to be me discussing how exactly you read a manga um so obviously for western audiences and probably places other than you know asian countries like japan and china and all, all like the, the Asian countries that probably read from right to left. Now, it's most common in Japan, obviously, because that's where they, that's how they write, that's how they read, that's how, you know, manga is produced. Um, so right here, I have an image here explaining, you know, this is the format of a manga, and this is the way you're supposed to read it. So you're supposed to be reading it from the top right um, area it, the top right is the first box slash panel you start with and then when it comes to bubbles and um, like some uh, some context and stuff like that so normally you would literally start with the very most top right image um, or panel or bubble or whatever and then you would have to move towards the next one and then another one now there are times where um, there are times where manga does have um, the little like in your head moments where they're not in a text bubble they're just written on the page so sometimes you can read those in between the panels or if you want to you can read the panels and then read the in between of the uh, internal monologue some characters which is some sometimes that's what I do is if there's a lot of the internal monologue written on a page I normally read that all together so that way you know the whole internal monologue is you know what it's supposed to be read as and then the bubbles I read as the main text you read those first most likely um, there are times where if you get used to reading manga, then you can switch between the two, you, where you can read a main bubble, read an internal monologue, read a main bubble, and then, you know, go that way. Or, like I said, you can go read the main bubbles first, and then read the internal monologues, or in re or sometimes you read the internal monologues first. It, it just depends on, like, the context of the story and what is happening in it. Um, another known fact is, you know, because of the U.S. and a lot of other things, it is published from left to right, so you're reading it this way and not this way, like how manga is. Manga is read this way, but our way is this way. So some things will be translated backwards. So one thing would be in the original Japanese version, a t-shirt may say may on it, but as it is you know, written, it might, um, like the shirt may, it may say may on it, but it's also not just, you know, as in, you know, the merry month of May and the stuff like that, but not only that, but if it's written on a shirt, then it would be read as yam backwards because it's mirrored, so it would be yam instead of may, um, which is just, you know, it's manga creators being, um, sometimes it says that they find themselves unhappy with the process because sometimes they will have mir mirroring images where sometimes that will screw up the thing. So like if they wanted to have a shirt that said May on it, then they'd have to write it backwards as Yam to produce May as the correct translation, I guess, of it. Just because things are mirrored. So it makes sense that when things get, you know, messed up, it's because of a mirrored image and stuff like that. So that's, 
that's just how it is. Um, so pretty much what I'm saying here is it's very, very easy to read manga. You just have to get used to reading things from right to left and trying to figure out which bubbles you need to read first. I would always say start off with the most right-ish bubble on a manga page even after you turn it and stuff like that like always start at the top you always have to start at the top right of the page so just remember that when you're reading it when you're reading manga and stuff like that so hopefully this has gotten people you know giving you guys a more general idea on how to read manga and um, which way you're supposed to read it and like how you're supposed to read it and how I read it sometimes um, is pretty much I just read the bubbles and then read the internal monologue if there if, if it doesn't correspond to well I mean obviously it will correspond to the story but I mean like it, it, it's its own thing internal monologues and just you know words written on the page not inside bubbles are they're meant to be read separately so read them separately is what I'm saying um, but hopefully this has been uh, informational I guess you could say for people who are not, um, you know, people who are just getting into reading manga and people who are trying to get into, you know, reading stuff from Japanese culture and stuff like that is you have to read from right to left. And that's all I'm going to say is you have to read from right to left. You need to know how to read from right to left. And yeah, so hopefully this has been a good short uh, explanation on how to read. Uh, manga and anything in Japanese really is you have to read from right to left and yeah I hope this has helped you guys out a lot um, it did take a while for me to get used to reading it from right to left but after I have been doing it for a while after you get used to doing it for a while you'll get used to reading manga from right to left and you'll have no problem with it and yeah so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button Leave some comments down below. If you're new to my channel, please so hit, consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell. I have also noticed that there are about 53% of my viewers who are not subscribed to my channel, so please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video, and I'll see you guys.